Holy shit, the car's in Vancouver. We're trying to practice uh, safe social distancing. And I just discovered it's got an antenna. Look at that. Dave's at least six feet. He's probably seven feet away. Yeah. Uh, Holy shit. Man, we have a huge episode for you this week. And uh, Dave fixes everything. The headlight, engine mount, fucking mounts, the uh, these new side mirrors. And you're going to see what the fucking spoiler looks like. Check it out. Enjoy. Have fun. Hi, Dave. Hey. Um, this is one of two little upgrades I've been meaning to get to kind of life upgrades in general. So the first one is the indicator was missing here. Someone have, have basically just spliced in an indicator bulb they found off any old car. Well, pick and pull has the indicator. As you can see, it's got, got the wires on the back and I don't know if the bulb's good, we'll find out later. And if we have to replace it, we'll replace it. We're going to get this in there. It's held on by two 10 mil bolts, but one of them was really seized and snapped when I pulled it off. So it's JB welded on. Figure it, as long as it keeps it in there, it's all good. So, really, all I've got to do is just strip these wires and uh, crimp, crimp with on. Cool, all done. And the only reason I really wanted to do this, it's not real, is um, if we're going to try and drive 500 miles off road. And there's a bulb, a bulb like that, ain't going to take much of a rock to lose an indicator and then get pulled over and blah blah blah. So sometimes these little things, you know, take five minutes, but they can save you half an hour later on and a lot of headache. This car doesn't have a passenger side mirror. So I was at the pick and pull and I found these. It should fit the car. Nice thing about them is they've got this little mirror adjuster that actually goes inside the cab. So I've got a pair of them, one for each side, and I'm going to do that because the one on the other side is kind of hosed <laughs> as well. So stay tuned. Today is the motor mount time, third time lucky, I got the right motor mount, this is the old one, you can see how it's kind of saggy. Here's the new one, and you can see how it's not saggy. Um, basically, this car is an 88 Corolla, and if you order an 88 Corolla mount, you don't get this. Uh, so I ordered an 87, a bit too wide here, so I just ground it down a little bit and there was a spacer in there to make the bolt fit so third time's a charm it's exactly the same as the old one now uh, so it should be good and just to note you can see how this is taller than this you want this to go to the front so that when the engine tries to go forward it's going like this because if you have it this way around then it's going to try and 
put it like here and the rubber is not going to support it. Anyway, should be relatively quick to get this in because I already got the car jacked up and as you can probably tell I got the old one out. So here goes the new one. Proof in the pudding. I'll lower oh, the engine a little. Yeah, probably all the other amount amounts shot too. have some rubber and stop some of the vibration. Now I just go button this back up and I'm done. Beautiful spoiler, side profile. Does its job perfectly, spoils the car nicely. complain a little bit. Might overdrive it. <laughs> Actually, I'm coming back to say that. 